Hi again. We'll be looking at completing the square today. And to do that, we're going to take advantage of a rather old idea. And it is, is kind of a geometric way of thinking about this. And later, it will be doing it purely algebraically. But this helps you connect some dots and, and see what's happening. So here's our situation. We have three rectangles, the two yellow ones, and then the special rectangle that is x times x. Okay, so this one up here, it's 5 times x, and this one is 5 times x as well. So all three of them together have this area, 416 square meters. So the question is, what is x? And there's a kind of a neat way to do this, and it just takes a, a little algebra and a little thought around this geometry here. So first, let's just write up what we have. This is the orange one down here, okay? That's this guy, and that's x squared, and it, it has an area. And then we have the two other ones, 5x and 5x, each yellow one. It has an area of 5 times x. And we know that it, all together it's equal to 416. <clears throat> that's what it said. So when we know that, let's first combine the two 5x's there into 10x. And then we're going to look at this and say, we're going to complete this square. Okay, in other words, you see this, there's this bite taken out of it right there. And we're going we're gonna to fix that. We're going to go look down here. And we're going to say, well, we know something. We know that it's 5 there and 5 there just by looking at the chart. And 5 times 5, of course, is 25. We're going to leave it as 5 squared for right now. And when we do this, if we add something to the left side of an equation, you have to add just as much to the other side or the equation is no longer balanced. So we're going to do that. And then we'll, let's take the next step. We can clean this up a bit. And when these get combined, of course, you get 441. And that is just 25. You could leave it as 5 squared if you wanted to. It, it's not going to make any difference. And you'll see momentarily that it, it, it cleans up quite nicely. But let's, let's take the next step now. We're going to deal with this by itself. And because we know some things about it, we can take the next step and factor it directly, which we have now done. Now, why is it we can take this step directly? Well, this 5 squared here, 5 times 5, let me just write these out here. 5 times 5 is 25. We know that. And when you expand these, okay, you get your x times x. That's the x squared, the original. Then you get x times 5 and another x times 5. And then you get the 5 times 5. So it expands up to the original. So what, what was it that we did? Well, quite simply, we filled in the hole. <laughs> we completed the square and kept the equation balanced. So now we have this length there times that length, which is the new area. The new complete area because we started off with the 416 but then we added a little bit more and there it is now we're not quite done yet but now that we have that now that it's factored i'm sure you can see that this is going to be a lot easier to solve because all we'll have to do is take the square root of the left side and the square root of the right side so let's do that when we do that of course this goes away and you're, you end up with just that and then you just have the plus minus 21 for the square root of 441. So let's uh, take the next step, clean it up just a little bit more. We get two answers. x can be 16 and x can be negative 26. Now in our particular situation we're not going to need the negative 26 because that doesn't help you build a square. It's difficult to go out and say, okay, I need minus 16 meters of something. <laughs> we don't do it that way. Uh, but purely algebraically speaking, if you had a second deg degree equation and you came up with two solutions, you may very well want the negative solution. 
it depends on the situation. But this one is to help you see, well, what is the idea behind completing the square? And then from there, you can take more steps and to get into more advanced situations. So here, our particular answer, the x is 16. So you have 16 for right here, and then 5 for there. And then, of course, 5 and 5 there. So that is a nice little way to do these. And later... Uh, I'll be showing you how to use the completing of the square to get the PQ formula. All right, see you next time.